So if you guys have listened to the channel before, you know that Nye Inoue is one of the only little guys that I really do videos on. It's the only guy that I'm interested in, in the lower weights because he's the monster. He knocks people out. He hurts them. He stops them. And he makes a good impression. You know, as a boxing fan, that's kind of what you want to see. So I've always got time for Nye Inoue as long as he's knocking people out. I'll tell you one thing I don't really have time for is this rumoured fight that he's going to be taking next against TJ Dehaney for a target of September day, I believe. They're basically reporting that the fight is basically in its final stages of being negotiated and it will take place in September. Now the thing for me about Nye Inoue fighting this guy is he's not very good. Like I know he's been on like a few Nye Inoue undercards recently so in hindsight looking back on it I think they were always looking to make this fight. They're always trying to position Dehaney to maybe one day fight Nye Inoue. A bit like over here in the UK, like when Lara comes over and suddenly everyone knows who Lara is. Next thing you know, he's fighting a rematch with Warrington. Then he's fighting Lee Wood. Then he's fighting Lee Wood again. It's like, I get a sort of thing like that where they brought Dehaney over once and he got a knockout. And then they brought him over two more times. He got two more knockouts in front of the Japanese fans. So they're thinking, oh, two guys on knockout streaks. Let's put these guys in together. Maybe it'll be a fun fight or something. But the level Dehaney has been fighting at compared to Nye Inouye, isn't right like Dehaney has lost four of his last nine fights now I can't remember all the fights that he lost or the names but I do remember one of them because I know the name it's that Ionot Balutugai the Romanian fighter I believe who just recently had a fight with Dennis McCann and I think they fought to a draw now that fight at best was like European level and if they're fighting to a draw but Baluta has already beaten TJ Dehaney it's like well what level is Dehaney really at he's probably European level at best himself and they're gonna feed him to the monster I don't necessarily agree with it I think the monster is undisputed champion at his weight class and I think if I'm not mistaken the WBA recently called their mandatory I think the expectation was him to fight I'm not sure I can remember his name was it Akhmadeliev or someone like that and for some reason they've turned a blind eye to that and they're fighting Dehaney allegedly I don't know if it's been made yet but any minute now I'm guessing it's gonna come out that that fight has been made but then even around the time of like the Lewis Neri fight, I think that was his last fight anyway, they were saying that Nye Inoue was likely to fight in Australia in his next fight. What happened to that? What I don't understand is there was all these plans for Nye Inoue. First it was Australia, then there was potentially a mandatory and neither of them were materialised and suddenly they're giving him a walkover job. I mean you might not see it as a walkover job but trust me, TJ Dehaney against Nye Inoue doesn't go three rounds. And I almost think that like they're just using Nye Inoue's name to give him an easy night's work and collect the payday. I don't know, maybe they've got bigger plans. Maybe they just believe he deserves an easier night's work or something. But I'm a little bit disappointed. For me, if you're the monster, you should be fighting the best and beating the best and keeping your name and your profile up there. I think that fair enough, you know, you can get one pass to have an easy fight. But after this, I need him to come back and do something even better. Whether he steps up to 126 pounds or whether he just goes for his mandatories like a hot knife through butter. I don't mind either of them, but I, I do kind of mind this TJ Dehaney fight. It's like, what has Dehaney done to deserve a shot at Nye anyway? Like, he's got three knockouts in a row on Japanese cards. I think all three of them might have been on Nye anyway's undercards. So the fans do know him. It's a familiar name to the crowds out there. They've seen him get three knockouts in a row. So they, I believe, will be sold on the idea that it's going to be a competitive fight against someone who's got knockout power. But then who did he knock out? And if you look into it, it was guys he probably should have been knocking out, if you know what I mean. So they've been building this. They've been building the Haney purposefully, in my opinion. And they've been building this fight with Nye anyway purposefully. I don't know why. I mean, I'm still going to watch. I'm kind of moaning about it. I'm definitely still going to watch. I just think that while some people out there will think that because the Haney's had three knockouts in a row that he can somehow maybe give the monster competitive fight, I think anyone who knows what they're watching or knows what they're looking at will say that Dehaney will be lucky to get past three rounds. So yeah, that's the rumour going around online. A fight between Nye Inoue and TJ Dehaney. I'm not too impressed with it. I don't know if the rumour is going to be guaranteed true or anything like that. But what I will say is this. Generally speaking, when there's a leak regarding Nye Inoue or something that's going to happen with him, when it comes from ESPN or a writer linked to ESPN, generally speaking, it comes to fruition. So I think there's going to be legs to it. I say expect... Nye anyway to defend his undisputed crown against TJ Dehaney in September in Japan in Tokyo. And that's all I got for this one guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe or don't like at your next one. Love.